Focus is very important. You want your subject to be in focus and not out of focus. So in this video, I wanna share with you some focus tips, but also discuss the benefits of both autofocus as well as manual focus. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Now, when you're taking a picture, it's pretty much a given that you want your subject to be sharp and in focus. And with today's cameras, this should be really easy because we've got autofocus, we've got subject tracking, some cameras have face and even eye detection, but we're still, occasionally we get blurry out of focus images. Well, in this video, I wanna try and fix this for you. But what I wanna do is discuss autofocus and manual focus, because both have their benefits. And I think it's really important that you know how to do both. Now, my very first camera was a film camera, very similar to this Pentax camera right here. With this type of camera, it's mostly mechanical. There's no LCD screen on the back. And when you take a picture, you have to manually focus the lens. Now with newer cameras, of course, you have autofocus. Now my second camera had autofocus and manual focus sort of became the old fashioned way of doing things. Now I imagine most of you guys are using digital cameras as well. So let's talk about autofocus first. Now, when you first unboxed your camera, there's a good chance that you may have used it in the fully automatic mode. This is the factory default mode. And in this mode, you don't have to do too much because the camera's making all the decisions for you. For that reason, it's often referred to as the point and shoot mode. Now to focus in this mode, all you literally need to do is point your camera at your subject, press the shutter button halfway down, and the camera focuses, easy. So let's start with the basics. So when using autofocus, it's pretty easy. You just press the shutter button halfway down and the camera focuses. This button is called the shutter button, by the way, because if you press it all the way down, it activates the shutter and of course you take a picture. Now it's really important to not rush this one. I see lots of people who point the camera at things and press the button all the way down in one go, but it's really important to make sure the camera's focused before you press the button the rest of the way down. So a half press, keep your finger there. Really, really important. Most cameras will indicate the camera is ready to take the picture by beeping. The beep means the camera's focused. If you're not hearing the beep, it could be you've turned the beep off accidentally. If so, you'll find this in the menu and you can simply turn it back on again. If your camera's still not focusing, it could be you're too close. So if that's the case, just take a small step back. Now, one of the main reasons I like to use autofocus is speed. This camera can focus on a subject quicker than I can manually. And although that may not be too important if I'm photographing a landscape, which isn't going anywhere, it really is important if I'm photographing a moving subject. That could be my dog running around the garden or my boy playing football. Now, when using autofocus, one thing your camera is probably doing is choosing what to focus on. I want you to be able to do this. So in a separate video, I've shown you that you can use autofocus, but you can also control the focus points. So your camera will specifically focus where you want it. It's a video you should definitely check out. I'll put a link up here and also in the description below. Because when I'm photographing my boy playing football, there's obviously gonna be a lot of other people on the field and I want my camera to focus on him, not another player. So autofocus is great, particularly in terms of speed, great for sports, but you need to get a bit more involved in the process. Make sure you check that video out. Now, as much as I like autofocus and as good as it is, sometimes it lets us down. If you're taking photos in poor light and particularly at nighttime, you might find that the focus does not work. If you're taking a photo of something that lacks contrast, the autofocus system again can be a bit confused and it can struggle. If you've ever tried to take a photo and you've wondered why, when you press the shutter button, your camera will not take a picture. It's simple, your camera has not been able to focus. Now this can happen occasionally, what do we do? I think now's a good time to talk about manual focus. So what is manual focus? Well, there was a time when cameras didn't have autofocus and the only option was to do it yourself. And you did this by turning the focus ring on the lens, not to be confused with the zoom. Now have a go at this yourself. If you've got a Canon camera, there'll be a switch on the lens. If you flick that to M, you've turned the autofocus off and you can manually adjust the focus. If you're maybe using a Nikon like this one here that doesn't have the switch on the side, all you need to do is press the I button on the back of the camera select focus mode and MF for manual focus. Now, once you've selected manual focus, all you need to do is look through the viewfinder or if you're using the live view, use the screen, of course, and adjust the focus ring until your subject looks nice and sharp. Easy. 
Now, if you like using your live view and you're also manually focusing, I've got a really good tip here for you. It's called Digital Zoom. There's a plus minus button on the back of your camera. If while taking a photo, you press the plus button, you will notice that your image becomes bigger. And this really helps you nail your focus. Let me show you how it works. So with live view turned on, here's our composition. We've got a camera here in the foreground, which is nice and sharp. But what if we want to focus on the flower? So on this Canon camera, all we got to do is press the button here to move the focus square over to the flower, press the plus button to activate the digital zoom, and then reach around the front and adjust the focus ring on the lens. And you'll see the subject coming into focus. And when it's nice and sharp, all we got to do is press the plus button again to zoom out. So as you can see, manual focus is actually pretty easy to do and can often be used as a solution to a problem. If your camera's struggling to focus, then manual focus is a really good option. Recently, I was doing some macro photography. I was doing some photos of some flowers. And again, this is where autofocus was just missing. It was focusing on the wrong part of the flower. So I simply put my camera into manual focus. What I did is then focused on the flower and I simply move the camera back and forth because this moves the focal plane. So if you like doing macro photography and you've struggled to get that flower, ant, bug, whatever it is, nice and sharp, I recommend trying manual focus. So to summarize, for me, autofocus is generally the way to go. I love autofocus and I love that the camera can focus really quickly. It can certainly do it quicker than I can manually, but there's plenty of times when the camera struggles. Low light, macro, fireworks, nighttime. If your camera is struggling to focus, don't do what most people do, which is give up. Have a go at manually focusing the lens. It's quite easy. That's the point of this video. Practice manual focus. Now, when it comes to autofocus, there are some cool options as well. I've done separate videos on them, so don't forget to check them out. You'll find links in the description below the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video about autofocus and manual focus. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And if you've got any questions, comments or suggestions, you can leave them down below the video. I hope to see you again sometime soon. See ya. Bye.